coming to take a wilderness first aid class at uh, the council area here at McGimsky Park and uh, it's gonna be fun but here we are Hi, welcome to Backpacker Dad, and today I am going to talk a little bit about a course I took recently. I, I, I've been involved, as you know, if you watch this channel, I've been involved in scouting for years, and I've always, you know, had CPR when we went to to the camps. I get make sure I, I keep that certificate up and in, in current. And recently, I did something I haven't done before: is I took a remote a wilderness and remote first aid course through the Boy Scouts of America. Now, REI has one, which is uh, it's uh, it's another sanctioning body that does it, but and it's kind of expensive. I would say um, the the one at REI, I believe, is like two hundred and thirty five dollars, but it's it's a two day course. This one from the through the Boy Scouts was I think a hundred and sixty dollars. But I will say, or $140, I don't, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up and I'll put it down here on the... But I will say that I learned so much with, uh, on the course, even though this particular course is Boy Scout centric. Now, if you want to take this course, I would highly recommend it because it, uh, it exposes you to first aid things that happen that are uh, in the wilderness that are can be dangerous and you could save someone's life. And also just to know a little bit more when something happens to you and you can recognize heat and a hypothermia and things like that. And you know, education is the best thing you can do on, when you're going hiking is to learn stuff because most of the time, people make little mistakes that cost them and uh, sometimes cost them their lives. So I would highly recommend doing the wilderness and remote first aid. Now, I, I did some video and, and I shot some of it. It was a two-day thing. I camped there. Now, I will say they are mainly uh, scout-centric. So if you're you know, going to Philmont or a high-adventure Scout uh, Boy Scout event. This is kind of geared for that and through the policies of Boy Scouts. But it's for anyone, really, because the wilderness and remote first aid covers basically when you can't get first aid attention from EMS or an emergency situation within like two hours or more. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere and it's going to take six hours for somebody to get to you or you to get to somebody, this really goes and has some really great stuff that'll help you get to that point to where you can help that person at least, you know, try to survive. The course is laid out to where we do uh, book learning, video, and we do scenarios. Now, the gentleman that taught the course was, of course, uh, our old scout master, a scout master emeritus, uh, Bill Toms, he teaches it, but in conjunction with a uh, retired colonel flight surgeon who puts all the, he, he's kind of like the technical advisor, but we had some, uh, some very cool uh, situations, which I will show you and, and, and get a little behind the scenes on some of the, uh, the scenarios. You got your form? All right. Yeah. Good. Are you hurting anywhere else? Well, I, I, I'm hurting in the back of my arm. It's hurting in the back of his arm. Okay. Okay. Can I get some people to help me real quick? Rock under his back. Be careful. Yeah, I'm just going to do a small roll. I wouldn't do a roll okay. yet until you Head check back. it. He's got a Here's rock back. under his back. I don't know if I'd roll him too Which much yet. Going? We're going to go. Me. All right, everybody roll on three. I would not roll him right away. There's a rock right underneath his back. He could have a broken back. I That's would... why I'm only moving him slightly. Okay. On three, one, right two, there. three. Hold him right there. Okay. 
Oh. Is it her right there? Yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to roll them back slowly. Rolling on three. One, two, three. Hang on there. Hang on there. Okay. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Yeah, Are we going to treat this with one bandage and one roll of gauze? Where you're allergic to? I got rolls some like Cinepril and... Okay. Get shelter over the top of them. You're at Philmont, you're going to have a nylon dining fly. Right. You oh, that's not All bad. Right. Not uh, that one. First, the first pulse was taken at 1540, was 56. We got him over here at 1600, his pulse was 80. And he had beginning stages of shock and confusion and things of that nature. Okay, okay. cool, cool. Now, was there anything that you presented that they did not pick up on? It's a great thing to do just for your own self and, and your family. If something happens to your family, you definitely, and, and I would suggest anybody and everybody do CPR because, you know, used to, it's like, oh, I don't want to breathe in anybody's mouth. And oh, You know what? Now they have it down to where it's just, there's, there's actually a, just a chest compression, you know, and... If you can save somebody's life, that is like worth everything because it may be your father, mother, grandparent. It may be somebody that you know real well that can have a heart attack. And if, and if you know CPR, you can actually save their life or at least give them a fighting chance. So I recommend going out, checking it out, and either through... REI, and if you don't want to spend the extra money and do this, I understand, but at least do CPR. I'm sure you can do CPR and find a CPR class that's either free or very little. If you're going out in the outdoors and doing any kind of hiking or any kind of thing like that, I think everyone needs to do CPR. So that's my, my plea is to please do CPR, learn it and maybe you'll help someone and get outside, comment. Let me know, um, do you guys, uh, are a lot of you guys into CPR and, and wilderness first aid and things like that or is it something that you just don't really bother with? Let me know, comment, subscribe, like, and stay tuned because it's getting closer and closer to the AT for me and I'll see you next time on Backpacker Dad.